Hi, I'm Michael Choi, and today's video is dedicated to what we call the holy grail, the clothes. So, you're, you're doing your listing presentation, and you're knowing while you're doing your listing presentation, at some point in time, you're going to have to ask for the business, if you already know that it's not yours, okay? Or, or if you're going up against other agents, you know that you're going to have to ask for the business. And uh, it defeats the purpose if you do all that work and don't ask for the business. And look, it can be kind of daunting, it can be scary, but it's also exciting, so I, I suppose just embrace that. And I don't know, always look at it in the point of, if you don't ask the question, the answer is no. If you do ask the question and the answer is no, you're in no worse position, so you might as well ask. You lose nothing. And what happens if it's a yes? Uh, well done, congratulations, that's what you're there for, okay? So you don't do this awesome listing presentation not to do the littlest thing, which is the close, which is the whole purpose of the listing presentation. Now, generally what happens in, in, in my listing presentation is I've got about six points that I talk about. Uh, for example, like uh, price, um, comparable sales, um, timing on the market, and then I go into method of sale, um, method of sale marketing, and things like that. And so there's, there's, a certain, there's a few points that I go through, and mentally what I do is, or, or not just mentally, but I physically actually say, okay, so we've agreed on the price, is that fair to say? Bang, okay, so I've got tick box inside my head, I'm like, okay, that's done. Next in the, on the marketing or method of sale, yep, so you like that proposal, you think that strategy is best for your house because I think that's what's best for your house, are you happy with that? They say, yes, bang, okay, cool, got another tick. And so I do mental ticks in my head going, yes, 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 yes. Okay, it looks like this is going to be a listing. So it's not so much that there's one close at the end, there's all these little closes during the listing presentation, uh, which is why sometimes at the end of the presentation, I just the close in itself can sometimes just be pulling out the paperwork and start filling it in and them not objecting. If they don't object, so sometimes you just pull it out and just start filling it in while you're talking to them and go, yes, they haven't objected, here I go, I'm nearly at the bottom of the page, beautiful, they haven't objected, it looks like I've got it. Um, but sometimes you don't do that and, and you go for the close, so that's what this video is for. Okay. So there's what we call the mini closes, which is talking about, uh, do you have a spare key for me tonight or will you need to get one cut? So it's that multiple choice, no matter what answer they give you, it's a yes, you've got the list in. Or um, when do you think we'll be able to order our photographer to come through the house? Do you think Monday or, or, or Wednesday is best for you uh, for the twilight photos? No matter what answer, once again, multiple choice, something close. Um, so that's just mini closing, okay? Then we get up to what I like to do is like we have a guarantee form. So I say, um, just one more thing I wanted to speak to you about, Mr. and Mrs. Vendor, is this guarantee form. So basically what this is, is at any stage while you're up for sale with our firm, if you're unhappy with anything we do, you can leave our company. No questions asked, you can just, you can leave. Obviously I'd, I'd like, you, like you to call me first and just say, hey Michael, this is the reason that we can't nut it out, then obviously leave. But if, if you are adamant that you want to leave our, our company, it's not a problem. Um, you've got that guarantee form, I've signed it, so you don't have that uh, authority period that you're stuck in our agency form. So, um, so that's, that's, that's just the, the to, I suppose, take the barriers down and give the, the owner a bit of comfort. And I say, look, there's not, we provide that guarantee form because I'm confident in our team. I know that we will do our very best. And so I'm quite confident that I don't think you're going to need it. And so that should give you confidence that we are believe in our ability that much to actually give you this guarantee. Now, Mr. and Mrs. Vendor, we're on the same, for, in our meeting tonight, I feel that we're on the same page in terms of price, in terms of marketing, method of sale, and I'm really getting this good vibe from you. I think we'll work really well together, and I like you guys, I can get that sense from you guys, uh, you know, it's, uh, you guys like me as well, so I feel we can really work together. Um, so would it be fair to say that tonight we've done enough to earn your business and I should get the paperwork going? Is that fair to say, Mr. and Mrs. Owner? And, you know, signs, you know, it's the whole Paul's thing and, and, and let them fill in the, the awkward space, I suppose. And, and generally, because you've done those mental tick boxes throughout the whole list and presentation, you know that you've got the list in, uh, but that's just giving you that, you know, that, that uh, clarity, okay? At this point in time, they might give you a yes. Beautiful, fill out the paperwork and make idle chit chat while you're filling out the paperwork so it's not awkward. Uh, you might get an objection, and that's where I've got an objection handling video which I, I've done previously. So just have a look at that one, I won't go into that, that's a whole other thing. And then 
well, so if it is that objection header, then I go back into this, I go into this format. Well, look, I had to go for the close, that's my job, and if I'm showing a buyer your house and they say that they want to look at another agent's house or they want to think about it, I'm going to try and close them because that's my job and that's what you want me to do. And so I want you to see that it's a good thing because that's my in my personality, that's in my blood, that's in my DNA, and that's what I'll do when I'm representing you. Does that make you feel comfortable and is that the kind of agent that you want working for you? So I'll go through that. I've got a solution for you, Mr and Mrs. Vendor, what we could do is I could fill out all the paperwork tonight. Then I could go back to the office and put the paperwork in the shelf, meaning we do nothing. Okay, so uh, I put it on the shelf, and if you're uncomfortable um, because you've got another appointment with another agent tomorrow, I can call them, that's no problem, so I can do that call because I understand, you know, it can be a little bit awkward. I'll, I'll make that call, we've done that before, that's no problem. So we'll do the paperwork tonight, put it in the shelf, I'll call the agent, you've got the guarantee form as well, so in the next 24 hours, if you think that you, you know, you've made the wrong decision, then that's fine, you've got the guarantee form, that authority is nothing. You know, you can have the authority back. Um, so that should make you comfortable, Mr. and Mrs. Vendor. We'll put it on the shelf. I'll call the agent. You've got the guarantee form. What you know? What more? What more could you ask for? That's perfect. That just gives you that security, that safety, and yet it also means that we can get the paperwork done right now because I'm feeling really comfortable. Let's work together. What do you say? And I go for the handshake, and I, I really find that that handshake um, it, it seals the deal because uh, call me old school, but I think a handshake is is worth more than a signature on paper a lot of times. And so you go for the handshake and it's really awkward for someone to just leave you hanging. And so that's, that's the close in, in general. Um, there's a lot more to it obviously. I think the most important thing is just having a relationship with someone and getting really um, close with them before they're ever ready to sell and you won't need any of this. But failing that, say it's a listing calling, then this is a really good foundation to make sure uh, you can close when you need to and know how to. I hope you enjoyed. Take care.